Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my Code to Care uh, video series where we talk about uh, AI in healthcare. I'm joined by my special guest, Jay Nakashima. Uh, Jay is president of eHealth Exchange, one of our nation's national uh, networks of uh, data. Um, and today we're talking about a really interesting use case that Jay and his organization has implemented with our, with our help from a technology uh, point of view called Project Best. So maybe I'll turn it over to you to give a few, few minute overview on what all right, this yeah. is all about. I'll try to be brief. Um, yeah, so um, so FDA, as you know, is, is required by legislation to ensure that um, drugs and biologics are safe and effective if they're introduced into the American market. And so FDA, so providers are required, number one, to notify FDA if there are suspected or realized adverse events related to drugs, vaccines, blood products. And then when FDA receives those notifications that, hey, patient J got a COVID injection or vaccination and maybe he had a reaction, um, uh, once the FDA is notified of that, they inevitably have questions. Okay. They say, hey, thanks for the data submitted. I need a few, I need, I need a little more information. Okay. And how do they get that information? Like, what is that? Yeah, so traditionally, providers have gone out to a website, you know, think FDA.gov, and, mm -hmm. they've, and they've typed in, like, literally, patient J, his demographics, he had chills and nausea and whatever, and they've typed this into a website. That's the predominant mechanism. Okay. So, um, so the essence of the project is that when the FDA is researching the adverse event now, um, that they pull from you, that they basically uh, ask eHealth Exchange, what do you know about this patient? What records can you find for me? Uh, and then you have this network of providers that you built up for other use cases yep. as well, where you go out and find the relevant records for this investigation, bundle that up, and send that back to the FDA. Correct. Okay, great. Um, and this is all based on FHIR. Correct. Basically. Uh, do you want to tell the group what FHIR is in case they haven't? Yeah, FHIR is just a more a modern API um, um, that's not plug and play, but as close as we're going to get in the next 20 years. What I like about FHIR, just to, I don't know if this is your favorite part of it, but <laughs> interoperability in healthcare used to be a bit of a copy and paste. Like you have a record over here in the lab system, oh, and then yeah. you make a copy of it over to the EMR. Or you have, you've seen across town, and then the a copy comes to the other organization. Right. And FHIR is all about um, request response. So you're not copying healthcare data around the country. In this case, you're saying, okay, FDA wants to know about Don Woodlock. Let's grab those records. Uh, FHIR is basically an API standard. Give me the response for these records, and then the FDA consumes that versus you know a massive copy and paste style messaging framework. Yeah, and Did it's, yeah. it's great that with Fire you can just say, "Hey, I don't need the equivalent of three hundred pages of information on patient J. I just need his lab results. Yeah, or I just need his medications. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this was project number one, the pull model." Uh, project where the FDA knows about the adverse event and is pulling Correct. the record. Uh, I know you're, you've been working or have implemented a push model as well. Can you talk about that? Yeah. So um, the VA and another health system um, were really innovative and they said, hey, you know, we're tired of going out to the FDA's website and remembering to type this information in about uh, for, for adverse event notifications. So instead, the VA is automatically submitting notifications via FHIR and bypassing that website. Ah, so the VA is an example, and you yep. put another provider, put a squiggly line. Yep. Um, basically, so proactively, they're identifying adverse events, uh, essentially, and then pushing it through to the FDA. Yeah. Is that yeah. Right? Yep. yep. And, and you know, the VA is a huge behemoth. It's the largest health system in the United States and it's government owned and operated. And I tell you, they implemented this faster than any little startup oh, really? I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, they have been a pioneer in medical in electronic medical records. They have. It's a really nice yeah, job. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Great. Well, this is a really exciting project and I think it really leverages 
your network built for provider to provider exchanges. At least that was your first use case for a public health uh, use case. And you can imagine expanding this to many more exciting projects like this. Uh, down yeah, this is a repeatable pattern that we could use for other public sure. health use cases for payer to provider exchange. Uh, the list goes on and on. This was called Project Best. Project right? Best. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Congratulations. On yeah, cool. That. Yeah. I'd say congratulate FDA, VA, and others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> All right. Hope that was interesting. Uh, thanks, everyone, and talk to you next time.